E.O. was cracking, guys. You read that title correctly. Bilal's ex pushes Shida about the prenup. Oh, this is gonna be good. It better be. That's too much estrogen. There's gonna be a fight. All right, let's just hop into this shit. I haven't seen this clip. I never watched him before I do this, so we're in this together. I do feel a type of way um, in regards to Bilal not setting up a meeting with us early on when she first came. I think that that's very important because she needs to understand where I fit at in the dynamics of everything. 14 seconds in and I'm fucking bored. Bring on the drama. This show needs drama. If there's no drama, it's bad. It's a necessity. They know this. So I know that there has been some talk in regards to a prenup agreement. It's kind of weird how they're like dressed the same. I know the only thing that's the same is the head thing. But that must be a little weird. Like it's, that's like if I like met with a girl's ex-boyfriend and we just happened to wear the same hat. I'd be like, take it off. I'm not, I'm not adjusting this. Wear it backwards at least. Yeah. And it may not be my place to speak on it, mm -hmm. but... I'm coming from a place of protecting my kids' yes. assets and the generational wealth, mm -hmm. you know, that he has. I was going to say, like, why she was there and stuff, but, like, I assumed you guys were smart enough to know she has to have some interest in this due to the kids or else she'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I have to know that, you know, you're not here for just what he has. Oh my God, that straight face, thousand yard stare. She's frightening. She is too much a woman for Bilal. Shida would never look at him like that. Well, I have, I have a life in Trinidad. I'm very known in my, in my community. You're very known in your community? Okay. I just had the thought of like, cause there's a producer there and at least two cameras, they're switching angles. I like to think that they're also wearing those head things. That's just the theme for today. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to hide my own yoga studio. Um, just Google me, you'll see a lot of things that come up, you know, about the newspaper. Mm -hmm. So me trying to get what he has has nothing to do with that. You're making it seem like it absolutely has to do with taking his stuff. You're like, yo, I had these things. I was successful. There's no way she left a high quality of life expecting a worse one, you know? Louis C.K. said it perfectly. People only fuck up or horizontal, never down. I understand you have concerns from a mother protecting your children. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I do. Because I don't know how well you know Bilal or how long you've known him. I don't know how well you know Bilal. That's hilarious. They're getting married. I hope Shida picked up on that. But I know it isn't 10 years or 15 no, years of no. putting in, you know, the work that you see that he has produced. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the kids have been here I have been here, so I'm coming from that point of view where he needs to protect himself and for the children's sake. Shida's being too agreeable. This is not good for television. You guys could have had this conversation through text. Didn't even have to be televised. Somebody get angry. Somebody hit somebody. Yeah, well, I think that's a conversation Bill and I definitely need to have. And I think we haven't reached uh, an agreement when it comes to that. Okay. This is literally like just a conversation. You could argue that like all the conversations are just conversations. But like, for instance, you know, when Mohammed was sitting around the table with those big tittied milfs, that was not just a conversation. I think I ruffled her feathers a little bit, but I didn't come here to uh, play games today. It was about letting her know that um, I stand for my kids. So this was not a fun and games uh, day for me. This is a conversation that needed to, that we need to have. Yeah, it's like she's not a character, you know? Like Bilal and Shida just seem like made up things. But this is an actual human being placed in their world. Doesn't work well. She's thinking too clearly. It's not what this show's about. It's literally 90 day fiance. There is no intellect involved. Are you good? I mean, it is what it is, I guess, <laughs> at this point. But I am just praying for everything just to go right for the whole situation. Good, I'm glad. Glad they're still filming this. Glad they're mic'd up. Glad I had to hear all this. There's like 30 seconds left. Maybe it'll get good. 
I feel completely caught off guard. Like, where does this hostility come from? <laughs> she thinks a little bit of not even it's not even confrontational. It's literally just a conversation. She saw it as hostility. All she literally said was like, I care about my kids and the assets. I don't want you to I don't know you. But see, because Shai does a character. She has to say this stupid shit. She's programmed that way. I think it, it, it took her by surprise to see an, a new woman in Bilal's home who is now becoming the woman of the household. I realize that this prenup is big business, but sweetheart, you are lecturing the wrong person. <laughs> it's weird that you didn't have this energy when you were talking to her. I don't think she would ever say this shit to her face. God, I want to be the tell-all host. I want to bring that up. She was being pretty agreeable. Bilal's ex-wife fucking ran that conversation, dude. That's probably why Bilal just does, like, whatever he wants. Because any type of candor and confrontation, Shida fails. And Bilal's like, I love confrontation. Let's argue with my big-ass teeth. I kind of wish he was there for this, honestly. He would have made it a lot better. He'd be like, bring up the Mercedes, talk about it. Well, that one sucked, TLC. You guys are trying to suck people into watching your show, and that's the clip you post? What the fuck? That's not enticing. What are you doing? Give me money. I'll help. Stop taking my money. Please. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If I've ever made you laugh and you want to support this channel, go over to patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. That's the best way to directly support. Like, if everybody gave a dollar, we would be fucking good. Like, we would not have to worry about demonetization ever because they hate swears. That's why every YouTuber, like, mutes swears or bleeps them out because YouTube's like, no. And I'm like... Yes. And like the majority of views for a video come within the first 24 hours. Even if the video gets monetized later, it's not going to get views as much as in the first 24 hours. And all of them are instantly demonetized. Then they have to get manually reviewed. And sometimes a YouTube worker is like, no, this is fine. And I'm like, ah. We also got wineboxpoppy.com and ringtones down below of the eow and the throw up noise. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I love you. Mwah.